tad bit overwhelmed. This is like never happened in all of the history of not enough Nelson. Ah! Are you ready? Here we go. Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get, get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. enough Nelson. Today we are going to organize our storage room and put away all of the groceries that all you saw us get in this video right here. Yeah we're a tad bit overwhelmed so I have enlisted a bunch of friends and we've got of course the kiddos to help. We are going to get this organized in a way that we will stop having expired food because I've had to throw away a bunch of expired food and it's it like so breaks my sad. heart. I keep on going yes. in here. I like grab something and it expired. I'm like yeah. I would go back and it's already. So we've like, got to get a better system people. A better system in place for all of this. So what I did is I shopped for about a four to six month supply of most items at least the shelf stable items but I'm going to do it in a way that I will be able to rotate correctly and not have food expire and go shopping from my storage room versus the store and so when I go from the store I know that goes in the storage room and my storage room goes in my kitchen. If that makes any kind of sense. Yeah. Anyway we've got a lot to do so we better get going and then I will show you the whole organized gorgeousness of my storage room after that. All right let's go. Woo. because this has been looming over my head for like two years. So here we go. Come on in. If you remember, this was the before. Pretty bad. Okay, so this is now what we have got. I am dying. Okay, not only have we put away our huge Costco haul, but we've organized things very carefully so that the old stuff is in the front, the new stuff is in the back, so no more expiration dates, people, no more spoiled food. It's gonna be amazing. So I'm going to start right here. The first mistake that I made was I put some of like the things that little kids want to get to up high right here. And guess what happened? I don't know, you tell me. Someone like used this to try to hold themselves up there and yanked it right out of the cabinet. What? So, no way. I put less interesting stuff up here now so that we don't have little Beckham trying to climb and scale the cabinets to get it. So we've organized some of our paper supplies and things like that, like our extras. I have like one of these in the kitchen to use and I'm gonna come back here to my store to bring the next one out and guys, no more going to the store until I have checked my store if I have it in stock. Okay, ah, are you ready? Here we go. Ah, look at my cabinet. I can't even believe it, you guys. It's so organized and clean. I am dying. I know it's just canned foods, people, but it's hard to be organized when you have 16 kids. It's like the first time in my life I've been this organized. So I have my soups 
and I have my sauces, all my spaghetti mix sauces, all that fun stuff. Then I've got my vegetables down here and some of my fruits and my corn. And guys, this is what's so cool about this. I'm going to train my children and train myself that we are supposed to take from the bottom row because when you do that, it comes down, right? And then they all fall down and so you use the oldest one first. And then when you're restocking, you poke it in the top right here and it will slide down and come in. We got this one then, love it. Next, ta-da! I know, again, it's just food people, but it's organized food and it's way more fun when it's organized. Okay, so we've got our syrups, our kind of breakfast items. We put like our pancake mix, our blueberry mix, our cornbread, all of that's up there. Then this is kind of the condiment section. And so we've got our masses of ketchup, which we will definitely go through. And we've got our jellies and our honey. We've got our peanut butter. We've got all of our spices back here and like our salad dressings and sauces. I only have like one or two extras of each of these because you don't go through them that fast. But there's nothing worse than cooking a meal that calls for Worcestershire sour and you don't have any Worcestershire sour or Worcestershire, Worcestershire sire. Worcestershire? It's Worcestershire. <laughs> We have got four of those, so I have a backup, so no more running to the grocery store for wish to serve. Then we've got dark chocolate chips. We've got chicken broth, everything to kind of bake with back there. Sugar, brown sugar, our extra virgin olive oil, our vegetable oil, our vinegars. We've got some extracts and some baking sodas back there. And then this is the fun section, keeping this down low so little hands can run in and grab it without scaling the cabinets. We've got all of our cakes and our frostings and our Nutella. That's exactly what Beckham was trying to get into when he scaled the cabinets. I love Nutella. High five. Oh. And here is the trick, people. A couple of my flowers had weevils in it. Yeah, ugh, gross. They expired and it grows like these little weevil things with these little skins. Not pleasant, not pleasant at all. So I got bay leaves and what you do is you just take a little leaf out. I just took off the top, pulled the whole leaf out and I just kind of tucked it around my flower and around any kind of like bread items so that we wouldn't have any more problems with weevils, people. Who knew? Bay leaves, they don't like it. I like it. I poked a few in there and we're gonna just use these really regularly. Last time I got a little bit excited and I decided to get like a ton of flour and I really don't use that much flour in a year so I really kind of scaled down on the amount of flour I got and just got what I know we are going to use over the next six to eight months and so we feel like we are plenty of flour and baking goods. For our next cupboard, ta-da! Okay, I know I do the ta-da sound every single cupboard I open but guys, I'm so happy with this. This just makes my heart so happy. I might just sit here, grab some of this popcorn in the corner and just enjoy my cabinets being clean. This is amazing. So I've got all of my rices up here and I've got my quick cook rices here. Um, hopefully high enough, but low enough that the hounds can get them. I like to know when Beckham's cooking the rice because it can be a little hot when you get out of the microwave. So I do like that he has to kind of ask for that. So I kind of tucked it here so hopefully he doesn't mind it too easily. Also, do you see the bay leaf right here? Yes, I tucked bay leaves around all of my rice because I think that rice can also get weevils. So I'm just making sure that nothing's gonna get bad. All right, we got our pastaroni, our stove top. This is priming my yummy Parmesan chicken that you guys have seen me make before in my videos. This is the secret, people. Pepperidge Farm. Moving on down, we've got crackers. This is just, again, this is like one extra more than I have in my kitchen. So in my kitchen, I have wheat thins, but when that one runs out, I bring it from my store here and then I make a mental note or I make a list of what I need to buy at the actual store to replenish. So this is just one replenish of all of my normal snacks and crackers. And then I've got all of my quick oats. I know this is a lot of quick oats. I don't know if I'll be able to eat this in a year, honestly, but I think they're just a really good staple to have, you know, like just in case something ever happened where we couldn't get to the store for a while, they make a lot of things and they're super nutritious. So I have a lot of oats and they were good for my family for a good staple. And then we have some distilled water down here for our ice maker. We like to keep about that much on hand. And so when we've used that much out of our kitchen, we will replenish this. In these two high cabinets right here, 
We have what we call an emergency food supply. And so what this is, is this is a food supply in case of like a real emergency that we really couldn't go to the store and things like that. And I mean, COVID came pretty close for our family. Like there was a time that I was like, we might have to use our emergency food. And so it comes in really handy for just really stressful times and maybe even sometimes when like you lose your job or things like that and you need a little bit of extra food around. This stuff lasts for 35 years. Yeah, 35 years. There's enough between these two cabinets to feed my entire family for six months. That's on two meals a day, but I thought, gosh, that just makes my heart feel good. If anything ever happened, I'd be able to feed my family for six months. Before I open the next cabinet, I do have to say with all of my food supply, my emergency food kit, you have to have water to like replenish the items that you might, because they're all like freeze dried or those kind of things. So what we have for water is we have some great big 250 gallon tanks in the garage and a bunch of 50 gallon tanks. We've also got water bottles under everyone's bed. You know how sometimes they just turn off the water without you knowing and you don't have water for the whole day? That just comes in clutch for those days. So water is also a huge thing. We don't keep that here, we keep it in the garage. Are you ready to see this cabinet? Ta-da, wow. Okay, so this is my pasta cabinet. So I've got all my mac and cheese up here. I've got my little mini bowls, which are so great for like after school snacks, a quick one that you don't wanna make a whole box. And I've got all my pastas. And what I'm gonna do with these pastas is I'm gonna use them all, use this whole entire cabinet. And then I will rotate all of this to my kitchen and buy it brand new. And that way I don't have to try to like make sure that this pasta doesn't get in front of this pasta that expires, whatever. So I have whole storage in my kitchen and a whole storage right here of pasta. We eat pasta a ton. And we've got our top raw ramen noodles and some more kinds of pastas down here, our egg noodles. And then at the bottom, we have our canned meats. We have a lot of chicken breast that's canned and a lot of tuna. And we go through quite a bit of it, but I do have enough storage there. I think it'll probably get us through about a year. I'm gonna creep into this corner. This is strategic, people. I put things back here that I know my kids will be hunting for. They will be hunting high and low, in corners and in nooks and crannies. It's my head. Anyway, this is like the yumminess that I know they'll get to, so I know they're not gonna go bad because they want these all the time. So as soon as I run out of these items in the kitchen, they will be coming here to get them. And we've got our snacking nuts and our other snacking items, our fruit bars, our cashews, our pistachios. Down here we have the little bites, cake muffins. Those are like super yummy. They're deadly, fairly it, I swear. And then we've got Nesquik, Prime, all of our chips, our Fiji water, and we've got our Sunny D down there. I have a little hiding spot. I put it back behind. I put it behind the Prime and the Nesquik because I know they're gonna grab those first. But I have a chocolate stash. So I've got my Hershey's chocolate right here, which these are mine and Benji's favorite. We should just stash them under our bed to be honest. And then we've got the chocolate covered almonds, which I already said I'm gonna put by my bed. I don't even know why they're in here. I'm gonna go put them by the bed. And the m &Ms. So it's fun to have a little stash of yummy treats. That's also fun to have in case of an emergency because sometimes you need a little, I don't know, lift of the spirits and a little bit of normalcy in your life. And so if there is an emergency, that is nice to have a few cakes or treats that you would normally have that maybe just the staples don't quite cover. And last in this room is these two cabinets up high. These are our snack center treats that we always have and I just will rotate them obviously into the kitchen. I just keep them up high because I didn't have a ton of room down low and I wanted to put what I knew the kids would go to quickly down low. And then, guys, look. I have two free cabinets that have nothing in them. This has like never happened in all of the history of not enough Nelsons and I'm so excited. And so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to organize all of my craft section tomorrow. It's been a long day. This took a long time. And I'm going to redistribute some of my craft stuff into those cabinets that are empty and just kind of re-go through everything, make sure that I junk the junk and make it all organized and fun because this is so exciting. Okay, one more thing I'm going to show you guys. I wish I could show you my cleaning closet because I did that and I did the upstairs cleaning closet and I did my laundry supplies. I love that it's all kept up. But one thing I'm pretty proud of is I was able to do my medicine cabinet. I have a medicine cabinet in my hallway and I have made it the best. I feel so prepared in case there's anyone sick or anyone hurt with this behind me. So are you ready to see? Ah! So exciting. Look at this. It's so organized. 
squeezed, yay! No more like hunting through things to try to find the Tylenol at three o'clock in the morning. It is all organized, people. I have all of my asthma items up here and my stethoscope to listen to heart. Medications in here that are backup medications. And right here I've got kids pain reliever, which is awesome. All the little kids and infant pain reliever that we talked about. Vitamins here and kids cold and allergy medications. Creams and gels here are miscellaneous sprays and creams. This is like, you know, if you get hurt or if you have something wrong with it, like if you get the fungus under your nails, we've got BioFreeze for if you have pain in your muscles and you rub that on. So this is all stocked. Then our tummy medicine. Do you like how I labeled it? Tummy medicine. Then we have miscellaneous, which is things that you just don't have and um, all the time for colds and things like that. And they're just kind of miscellaneous rubs and things. And up here is our pain reliever. This is the grown up pain reliever. So I'm keeping it up a little bit higher. Cold and flu, our saline, Zycam. I've got a test, a couple tests for COVID if we ever thought we had that. Our thermometer is up there. And we have our antibacterial cream and our burn cream. And it's just like sitting here ready in case anyone gets burnt or hurt. This is the best. Have you guys ever seen this? Like this has come in so handy for me. If you are a mom of kids, it helps so much. If you get a bad burn, you put this over the top and it's kind of like this weird gel pad. At Kennedy's wedding, I will just tell you, when she left in the hot rod car at the end of her wedding, she actually burned her leg super bad. It was a third degree burn. It like literally went through tons of layers of skin. So she ran in the house and I was able to put one of these on her and it so helped her. So I would highly suggest these and your emergency kit or your medication kit. Yeah, I feel really prepared. I love my little medicine cabinet almost as much as I love my food because it just gives me that little extra like I don't know, just feeling that I'm prepared for like what happens in the future in just a few months. It's not like we've gone crazy, but this I think will last us about four to six months. And so, yeah, I love it. All right, guys, that is the end of my shopping for one year Costco haul. Help me put it away. You guys help me put it away. Thanks so much for your help. It was really hard work, wasn't it? Whew, give yourself a round of applause. Just kidding. You didn't help at all. You just watched. <laughs> and you are welcome. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all. Bye.